Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to solve quadratic congruence of the type x square is congruent to a mod of 2 to the power n. Before we begin, let us look at a theorem. Given a quadratic congruence x square is congruent to a mod of 2 to the power n, where a is an odd integer and a is relatively prime to 2, then the congruence x square is congruent to a mod of 2 is always solvable. The congruence x square is congruent to a mod of 2 square will have a solution if and only if the residue is congruent to 1 mod of 4 and the congruence x square is congruent to a mod of 2 to the power n where n is greater than or equal to 3 has a solution if and only if the residue is congruent to 1 mod of 8. So here you must have noticed in the first congruence the power of uh, prime 2 is 1. We say such congruence is always solvable. In the second congruence, the power of 2 is 2. Such congruences have a solution if A is congruent to 1 mod of 4. And in the third one, we have powers of 2 greater than or equal to 3. So whether it is 3 or 4 or 5, whatever power of 2 you have, the congruence will have a solution if and only if the residue A is congruent to 1 mod of 8. Let us look at some examples. In the first example, we have to check whether our congruence x square is congruent to 3 mod 2 has a solution or not. Here, 3 is an odd integer. The GCD of 3 and 2 is 1. And the power of 2 is 1. So we go back to a first point which states such congruences are always solvable. All odd integers will be a solution. Reason being, we are subtracting 3 from some odd integer. Square error of an odd integer will be odd. So from we are subtracting 3 from that odd integer which will give us divisibility by 2. The second example is x squared is congruent to 5 mod of 4. Now here a is 5. But we see that the modulus is 4 which is nothing but 2 squared. So we go back to a second point which states for such congruence a solution exists when the residue is congruent to 1 mod of 4. So let us check a is 5. 5 is congruent to 1 mod 4 so the solution exists. In this congruence in example 3 x square is congruent to 7 mod of 8. We see that 7 and 8, they are relatively prime. 8 is nothing but 2 to the power 3. So we have the third point here. For all powers greater than or equal to 3, we check the condition whether it is congruent to 1 mod of 8 or not. So here we see that a which is 7 is not congruent to 1 mod of 8. So such a congruence is not solvable. Coming to the fourth Example, here the congruence is x squared is congruent to 17 mod 16. A is 17 and a 16 is 2 to the power 4. So again the third point is used as 17 is congruent to 1 mod 8. The solution of such a congruence exists. So once we find that the solution exists or the congruence is solvable, how do we find the solution? What we do, we use formulas which are given here. Let us say we have a congruence x square is congruent to a mod of 2 to the power n. We will use an iterative process to find the value of x which satisfies this congruence. So the formula we use is we will start with some initial x. Using the first formula, we will find the b value. In this, you can see that A is known to us. A is nothing but the residue. 2 is our prime. And we have powers of that 2. So we find B from here. This B we use in the second formula. And we will find the Y value from here. X we would always know because we start with that X. Once we find the Y value, we will have x and y, we put them here and we get our x 
take. So this is an iterative process. We start with k is equal to 1. In first step, in the second step, we will use that x1 value for the second step. Then we will go to the third step. So the question is how many steps should we take? We will go up to n minus 1 steps. As n is the power of 2, let us say that the power of 2 is 5. Then we will do 4 steps because k values give us the steps. So k is 1, 2, 3, 4 will give us the solution for our 2 to the power 5. Let's look at one example and solve this congruence x square is congruent to 9 mod of 32. 32 is 2 to the power 5. So here 5 is n, a is the residue 9 and naturally p is equal to 2, the base for our powers. Yet let's use the third property. As 9 is congruent to 1 mod of 8, the congruence has a solution. Let us start finding the solution. In the first step, we take k is equal to 1. When k is equal to 1, we are solving the congruence x squared is congruent to 9 mod of 2. See, here k value is 1. So, one solution of this is obvious, x0 is 1. But this is an odd integer, 9. If I take another odd integer here, their difference will be even and that will be divisible by 2. So easiest or simplest value of x0 is 1. We see that 1 satisfies this congruence. Let us use the first point of our formula with states x k minus 1 whole square is a plus b 2 to the power k. If we take k to be 1, we have x naught squared is a plus b 2 to the power 1. x naught we have taken to be 1. a is 9. 2 to the power 1 is 2. We took it here and b is to be found. Solving this, we get b is equal to minus 4. Now let's go back to the second formula. If k is 1, we get x0, y0 is congruent to minus b mod of 2. So, using that x0, y0 is congruent to minus b mod of 2, we already have x0 is equal to 1 from here. We find y0. So, let's put x0 is 1 into y0 is congruent to b, which we found was minus 4. So, this becomes plus 4 mod of 2. One obvious solution is y0 is equal to 4. Now use the third formula which will give us x1. So take k is equal to 1, we will get x1 is x0 plus y0, 2 to the power 0. We put the values of x0, y0 and uh, k value as 1. We get x1 is equal to 5. Remember, x1 is equal to 5 will be the solution of x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2 square. Because in the beginning, we found x0 were equal to 1 was the solution for congruence x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2. Move on to the second step. We will use this value of x1 in a second step. That is why we call it an iterative process. So, we will start by finding b value because x1 is already known to us. So from the first formula, we get x1 squared is a plus b times 2 to the power 2. Put the value of x1 is equal to 5. Put a is equal to 9. We will find b, which is 4. So from the second formula, x1, y1 is congruent to minus b mod of 2. We will get y1. x1 was 5. So we have 5 y1 is congruent to minus 4 mod of 2. y1 is obviously an even number. Here we can take y1 to be 2. See because left and right hand sides, if they both are even, then only they will be divisible by 2. So we took y1 is equal to 2. 
here k was 2 so we have put k is equal to 2 in this formula and we got x1 y1 now y1 is 2 let's find our x2 value from the third formula x2 will be x1 plus y1 2 to the power k minus 1 put k is equal to 2 put x1 put y1 we'll get x2 is equal to 9 at this stage 9 is the solution for the congruence x squares congruent to 9 mod of 2 to the power 3. So, if we are on the second step, the solution which we get will satisfy modulus 2 to the power 3. Moving on to the third step, here we use the value x2 is equal to 9 to find x3. Let's start with the first formula. x2 square will be a, A is 9 plus B into 2 to the power 3 because now K is 3. This gives us B is 9 using our second formula because K is 3, we get X2, Y2. Congruent to minus B mod of 2, we will get Y2 value is 1. You can see any odd number will be suitable for solving this because 9 is odd this 9 is odd if we multiply this 9 by some odd number it will still remain odd and then the difference of two odd numbers will be even which will be divisible by 2. For simplicity we took y2 is equal to 1. From the third formula we get x3 is x2 plus y2 2 to the power k minus 1 putting all the values which we already have we get x3 is 13. At this stage, you can check the answer 13 should satisfy x squared is congruent to 9 mod of 2 to the power 4. So, if you are on the third step, the power of 2 will be 1 more. In the fourth step, we have taken k to be 4. And now we use the previous value x3 is equal to 3, x3 is equal to 13. And we will find that our x4 comes out to be 29. Now, we had 2 to the power 5 in our question. It said solve x square is congruent to 9 mod of 32. 32 is nothing but 2 to the power 5. That is why we went one step less than the power. It should be n minus 1. x 4 is our solution. So, 29 satisfies x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2 to the power 5. So, you can check the solution. So, just note, x naught is equal to 1 satisfies x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2. The value x1 is equal to 5 which you got in the first step satisfies x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2 square x2 is 9 what you got satisfies x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2 to the power 3. x3 is equal to 13 satisfies x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2 to the power 4 and x4 is equal to 29. The final answer which you got is a solution of x square is congruent to 9 mod of 2 to the power 5. So, we have 5 solutions for every congruence and we have moved from 2 to the power 1 and reached 2 to the power 5. If you see this was the first step solution was already obvious x naught is equal to 1. We have 5 solutions but we have done 4 steps to find that solution. Thank you for watching.